Welcome back to the Mid-Year Miss YouTube channel. Today's episode, I'm converting a bass drum pedal into a gas pedal for the Misfit split. Be sure to stick around. We're at the movies, huh? Yep, we're at the movies. So for the Misfit split build, I had the idea to put a bass drum pedal as the gas pedal in the car. And a lot of people will say, why the heck would you do that? That's kind of rat rowdy. Well, first of all, this is a 60s Gretsch drum pedal, which looks pretty cool, first of all. And the Beach Boys, they had their album shut down with a 63 split window. And rumor has it that it was either with that car or the 66 that they actually carried a bass drum in the spare tire well of the car back you know underneath the car so that's kind of a nod to that and it just looks cool so i don't care what anybody else says i think it's cool so right now it's really windy outside so i can't do fiberglass work so instead i'm going to take this apart and hopefully what i'm going to be able to do is just either use this hinge and attach to the floor or just take just the pedal part off leave this foot pad and screw the foot pad to the floor so we'll see how it works the pattern's a little different this screw pattern's a little more narrow than this one but i'll see what I'll see what it looks like once we get this thing apart so i have the throttle linkage installed to let me know kind of where the pedal's gonna sit and the biggest modification i've had to make so far is just flipping the hinge around and taking one screw out because the gas pedal in the car isn't straight up and down it's rocked over towards the passenger side so which kind of gives you a funny little gap down there but if you have carpet and stuff you probably won't notice that now to do that you can see i have a big gap here so now what i'm going to do is i have these little templates made i'm just going to cut out a piece of metal weld it on re-drill the hole and do the same thing down here that way it can accept larger screws and the larger pattern of the floor so i'm not hurting the pedal at all so if anybody's worried about that the pedal will still be okay i'm just modifying the hinge and then once I weld those pieces on should be able to bolt it right into the car just like it was factory. So I'm really happy with the way the gas pedal turned out. It was a pretty simple operation just to cut and re-weld the hinges. Uh, I didn't modify the pedal or the floor in any way, so both of these can be converted back to their original use. So the only thing I have to do now is fill this inside cavity where the uh, actual like spoon part of the throttle will hit. I have to figure out exactly where that's gonna be and fill it with some uh, plastic or put pour some urethane or something in here to fill this gap to give it something nice and smooth to ride on because if not it may get caught and either the pedal will either get stuck or it'll, it won't it'll be jumpy it won't be a smooth transition so i'm going to make all this smooth in the back just to make sure it's um, just a lot easier to, to drive and stuff and so it's safe but overall it turned out really nice the biggest thing was you just have to turn the pedal at an angle because if it's straight up and down it's going to miss the linkage and it'll run into the uh, brake pedal so overall it's pretty simple Pretty simple conversion. Once I put carpet in it, uh, it should hide a little bit of this. I may just shoot this hinge black just to get it out of the way. But overall, I think it turned out good. You know, it's a nice, easy operation. So you can do this at home with any any pedal, really. Uh, the Beach Boys did not use uh, the Gretsch floating action pedal, but I thought this was one of the coolest pedals out there. It just looks super vintage. It's just got really cool graphics and letters and it's got a neat shape. So that's why I went with this one. So I hope you enjoyed the quick video on the bass drum gas pedal. I think it turned out pretty cool and it is not a rat rod part, it's a hot rod. Hot rodding people did stuff like this all the time back in the day. They used like the little foot gas pedal instead of like a trad traditional gas pedal. I think it's just cool and it's like nostalgic, you know, it's a neat piece of history. It's vintage, it's from the 60s and it makes the car stand out, which is what I'm trying to do with this car, which is hot rodding. Rat rodding is doing things really unsafe and using stuff from your house like a 
glass doorknob for a doorknob on the car and using signs on the floor. Like I'm putting a lot of time and effort to make this car a nice car, but I'm doing touches to make it unique. So it's not a rat rod, it's more of a hot rod. Be careful when you use the terms hot rod and rat rod because a rat rod is something that's unsafe, really sketchy. It's rusted to pieces, it's falling apart. But a hot rod doesn't have to be painted really nice. Back in the day, hot rods were primered. They were different colors, but it was all about hopping it up, making it go fast. And that's what this is. So it's like a 70s, you know, 60s, 70s style hot rod that somebody pieced together. That's the theme I'm going with. Still a nice car, run and drive really good. It looks a little rough on the outside, but I put the money where it counts. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.